Hey, I'm Alice. And I'm Jack. In this video, we're taking you to a restaurant we visited on our fall trip to Virginia Beach, Virginia. The boardwalk at the oceanfront is lined with hotels and restaurants, and we had heard good things about a seafood restaurant along the boardwalk called Waterman's Surfside Grill. This place opened in 1981 and has built up quite a following for its fresh seafood, signature drinks, and great view of the ocean. The restaurant is open with both outdoor and indoor seating. Of course, it's been a few weeks since we went, but their website and recent online reviews both mention that outdoor seating is still available. However, as we post this in December 2020, it is starting to get cool in Virginia Beach. Uh, they can have some warm days in the winter, but it can also get very cold in Virginia starting in December which could render outdoor seating options unbearable. But if you visit on a warm day or a few months from now in the spring or summer, they have set up plenty of outdoor seating since they reopened following being shut down due to COVID. Even before COVID, they had patio seating available with windows that could be opened when the weather was good. The drink they're known for is their Orange Crush. It contains fresh orange juice, orange vodka, triple sec, and a splash of Sprite. They advertise the fact that they are the home of the original Orange Crush because once it became popular here, other restaurants and bars in Virginia Beach began to copy it. They've also developed other flavors of crushes like lemon and creamsicle and coconut lime, but Jack tried the original Orange Crush. So Jack, what did you think of it? It was okay. I liked it. It was refreshing. This is a very popular drink, so perhaps I'm wrong here. In an average year, and I doubt 2020 would be an average year for them, but in an average year, they sell half a million of these orange crushes. I would probably try something else next time, though. The crushes are $9 each. I tried a strawberry margarita, which was good, and it was priced at $10. For an appetizer, I ordered the she crab soup for $7. It was really tasty, really nice and rich and creamy. The restaurant has a selection of burgers and sandwiches. Since we had seafood for dinner the night before, I opted for a Guinness burger. It comes with melted cheddar, applewood smoked bacon, marinated red onions, and Guinness mustard aioli on a toasted brioche bun, though I asked for it without the onions. It was delicious. The french fries were really good too, with good seasoning on them. This meal cost $10. And I ordered the fried shrimp for my lunch. It included six butterfly jumbo shrimp with cocktail sauce, and I got broccoli as my side. My lunch cost $18. It was really good. It was a nice portion, especially at lunchtime, and the shrimp were really large, and I actually really liked the breading that was on them. And if you've seen many of our restaurant reviews before, then you may already know that if a restaurant has peanut butter pie, I have to order it. So Alice and I got a slice of peanut butter pie to split for $6. It was delicious as always. The restaurant had beach decor, including a lot of photographs or artwork that related to surfing and sea life, but that all pales in comparison to the ocean views that you can get from your table. You can even see that view anytime you'd like, as their website, watermans.com, has a boardwalk camera showing you live views of the Virginia Beach boardwalk and oceanfront. There's a bar next to the dining room in this restaurant selling beer, wine, and cocktails. And from there, you're only a few steps away from the front entrance. The boardwalk entrance is actually at the back of the restaurant, even though that's how we entered. The front entrance faces Atlantic Avenue, the main drag along the ocean front. Uh, their parking lot out front is tiny, but they have free valet parking, and there are some garages nearby also. So that's our look at Waterman's Surfside Grill. If you enjoyed it, I hope you'll give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you the next time. We're traveling through.